It is a little bit disappointing to see that it's run that way. We're Simone and Giovanni, and over the last two years, we quit our jobs, moved to Mexico with our dog, got married, and began our journey to visit all 32 states of Mexico. In the last episode, we shared what the first day of Dia de los Muertos looked like in the town of Pátzcuaro. In this episode, we are sharing the main event by taking you with to the legendary island of Panizio, and then over to a little town on Pátzcuaro Lake, which is home to one of the largest cemeteries in all of Mexico to get the real feel of this sacred celebration. So after a much longer bus journey than yesterday, we are now back in Pátzcuaro. We're about to get our faces painted and then we're headed to the island that we were supposed to go to last night. We came around the same time yesterday, but was less busier than what it is today. Oh yeah, it's and crazy. Yeah, there's queue for everything, for painting, so we get food for everything. This is the main day of day of the day, that's why it's so busy right now. Yesterday's makeup was cool, but those jewels drove me nuts, especially all over my mouth. So today I'm going with a little more paint and a little less jewels. Smile. Wow. No can touch me. Going for a little bit more color. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting pestañas, my love? I think when I get some lashes. <laughs> I might get lashes, but I'm, I'm afraid that I like it and I don't want to take it off. <laughs> it's looking very cool. I actually really like the colour. You then, Katrina, we got our faces painted differently than yesterday. Yeah. I think I like this. I like the other one from yesterday, but this is like more like colourful. So basically, Pátzcuaro is, although very authentic, it, it is the more like touristy spot. We were going next after the island is going to be more of like the authentic local spots actually on the bus on the way here today most of the locals that were on the big bus stopped off at that location because that's actually where they're going to be spending the evening we decide to don't have lunch at the main square because actually all of the street vendors are packed it would have been nice to have eaten in the main square but we're just on a little bit of a time crunch what i can say is like the vibe of the town today is like more vibe oh yeah for sure people are like Top and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate horror movies. I, I hate. It's from a horror movie. Bird Box. That's the last horror movie we kind of watched together, but halfway through I just couldn't do it anymore. ¿Cuánto cobra por persona? por persona, We're getting on to go now, eh? Hey? Yes. Going right away. As long as you can see. Alright, so the buses are so busy, there's no seats left even. I'm glad we're going early, I think a bit later it's going to be even more chaotic. <laughs> oh, we made it! <laughs> we're right on the embarcadero or the dock. So just as we thought, the, um, the food stations here by the Embarcadero are not nearly as busy as the ones in Centro or Pátzcuaro. So Giovanni's just ordering us some tacos and then we're headed over. What's that guy using to start his fire? A hair dryer. <laughs> A Mexican ingenuity. Try this and, and they may fit too spicy. We got quesadillas, I got quesadilla de asada. And I got one of pork chops or chuletas, we call them chuletas here. Yeah. And we've got a spectator. Oh. <laughs> mm. 10 out of 10. Mm, very good, eh? Yeah. I'm, re I'm really glad we stopped off here. Very, very good. Very local stuff, of course. Just right of the uh, of the main embarcadero. Very convenient. Yeah. We would advise you to find a bathroom while you're here before you go over to the island. Once you're over at the island, I, I really don't know how many bathrooms there are going to be, how long the queues are going to be. And actually the queue is The queue long. looks like it's very long. We're about to, oh my goodness. Wow, it just goes and goes and goes. Actually you have to buy tickets first and then you have to make the queue to go and, and board on the, on the tra no trajineras, how do you call it? Lanchas. Yeah. I kind of regret eating down there. If we waited a little bit, we would have been able to get this freshly fried fish. What do you call it? Mojarra. Mojarra. Yeah, it looks really good. Maybe on the way back if they're still selling it. Although I'm very happy that we came early. We would highly recommend coming early. I think the queue 
later after the sun sets is going to be insane. We're probably taking a tour. We see like the people who are taking tours are going like a preferred line. Yeah, they don't have to wait in the queue. They just yeah. go straight, yeah. I think that this Embarcadero is like the essence of Mexico. You've got the markets, you've got the energy, you've got the people, you've got the chaos, you've got the colors. If you want a good idea of Mexico, but you're just here for a very short period of time, come to an Embarcadero like this on a special day and you, you'll get the full taste of Mexico. <laughs> No somos indias, somos indígenas. Y bienvenidos para que vayan a visitar mi isla. Muchas gracias. People actually live over on Hanitio Island, so there's an actual community there. Ya güey. El boleto, ¿a quién se lo damos? Oh, do you see that only 50 people are buying uh, the company for the Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah. Again, I'm so glad that we came early because it's obviously not as busy, but the lighting here shining on all of the orange and pixel chill. We've, we've been able to take such beautiful photos while we've been waiting in the line. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. The vibes today are completely different than yesterday. Yesterday was very chill. Today is the day though. So 1st of November or the second day of Day of the Dead is the day you really want to be here. It smells like fish, eh? Hey? Those fish that they were selling earlier up there, I don't know if they catch them from this lake, but this lake smells like fish. And the journey to Hanitio begins. Yeah. Guys, come at sunset. I think a lot of people will say come when it's dark. I would say come at sunset to get this kind of view of the lago and the island. And then on your way back, you'll be able to see the island all black with the lights on the canvas. Oh my god, my eyelashes are catching the wind. Uh, one of the most important things of this celebration is the night of the first going to the morning of the second is where oh, people start like coming back to the tombs and it's your rain. time to visit them yeah it's the time to there's a soul to reunite with the family yeah wow i'm really excited to hop onto the island but the view of the island from from far away is just absolutely beautiful <laughs> The main thing that we you have to come to Hanitio is visiting the cemetery. It's where Dia de Muertos originated, so it's where we are. There's so many mosquitoes here. It's where we're actually going right now. So it's one of the first things we want to do before it gets super dark. Yeah. Um, because it's where the tradition started. Yes, yeah. I mean, you've got this massive market here as you arrive on island, but I mean, this is not going anywhere. So when we come back, we can walk through. But the Pantheon is, is the main reason we came here, so that's why we're going first. Wow, what an interesting place. I don't even think there's like roads. I don't think there's any cars here. I think it's only foot traffic going up and down the mountain. Actually, the view from the top of the island is impressive. And we're about to get inside the Pantheon or the cemetery. But we just noticed that the little like fishing boats yeah. and the boats have turned on the light. And yeah. I think it's going to be so cool yeah. on the way back. We, we saw the Pantheon, we were in and out very quickly. If we're being completely honest, we kind of felt like it was very disrespectful because I mean, you've got the, the, the locals of this island whose family members are buried there and you've just got hundreds of un, like uncontrolled tourists walking over the grave. So that's why we were just in and out of there. It is a little bit disappointing to see that it's run that way. I think that's probably one of the reasons why we're super excited to go to this next town after this island because that's actually the biggest grave in Mexico. So we, we believe that there'll be more opportunity to walk around the graves and not on top of the graves because I yeah. think that that defeats the whole purpose of the celebration. Yeah. The big statue that you see from a distance, we're seeing it right in front of us now and it's just amazing. It's a statue of uh, Jose Maria Morelos y Pavón, which was one of the Mexican independent uh, leaders. leaders? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're, we're not used to this altitude and all the steps, oh my word! 
If the island's already this busy at this time, I don't even want to know what it's going to be like closer to midnight. I think yeah. I think it would take hours to get up to the top. I mean, it's already taken us about 20 minutes just waiting in the queue, so... Oh, wow, the monument is actually impressive it's, from here. It's huge. It makes me wonder how they actually built such a gigantic monument on an island, like, and, and also it's up such a steep hill. Wow. Is it worth going all the way to the top? Absolutely. Would I come all the way to the top if it was late and it was going to take like three hours to get to the top? Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> Basically, the island just turns into one massive market. That's pretty much yeah. all it is. So yeah, we're we're about to bounce now to go to go over to the other town because we really want to experience the essence of Day of the Dead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's getting very chilly. Yeah. Oh, people people are camping there. People literally have their tents set up there. I don't know if it's only locals allowed or what. I overheard this local say, oh, it's much, much easier to go that way. How, no, do you, how, do, how do you say? I, don't, I can't remember. Mas but, rapido. Mas rapido, mas rapido. So then we asked him and he's like, yeah, just go. But there's literally no one coming oh, down this, this way. This actually feels better. Oh, yeah, look look how free we are. We're just roaming around. <gasps> the view from here is stunning, eh, my love? Beautiful, eh? Yeah. Beautiful, eh? Let's go. Vamanos. Vamanos. Son los que se juntan y ahorita les hablo por aquí. Órale pues. Hazte para adelante. ¿Dónde pasan ustedes? So should, should we go there? Yeah. And then, okay. Acá. Gracias. Ah, qué tal ciudad. Noches. It will be a little bit more complicated to wait for the Sinsunsan transportation from the Embarcadero so they're gonna take us to the like kind of on the main road where the combis from I think Pachkor are going all the way to Sinsunsan so that's where we're gonna try to catch one of them. <laughs> okay so it's now about 8.30 p.m. so we're expecting to still be doing this for like another 12 hours. Theoretically the last thing that happens in Sinsun Sun is at 8 a.m. so I'm still going strong. Giovanni seems to be fading a little but yeah we'll see in a few hours. <laughs> There were some very, fr very friendly locals uh, in the bus and they explained to us where we need to be dropped off now in Patuaro to catch the next bus to go to Tsinsunsan. No hay servicio. No hay servicio I'm not sure, eh? This is not even remotely glamorous, but it's okay. We're gonna get there and it's gonna be worth it. Well, in order to get to Sinsunsan, it's a queue of cars. Probably we are like two kilometers away from there, so we're gonna walk towards the cemetery. Oh no, my love? Hey, yes, we are. You know, guys, even if you have a car, it doesn't really make a difference. Like, the traffic is just bonkers. It just took us an hour and a half to travel, like, 17 kilometers. And also, if you've got a car, keep in mind, the parking is like, there is yeah. no parking. So you're going to be walking anyways. So, I mean, I suppose it's just part of the experience. Yeah. So we just stopped at the, the bathroom. Mm. Get your squatting legs ready. Okay, so you know how we said earlier when we were in Patskoro that we we're going to come to this town and it's going to be like really quiet and chill? We were completely wrong. Completely it is jam-packed with people but the thing is it's the space is a lot bigger here it's kind yeah, of like an open field. yeah i think in Hanitsa was like very like packed like to get in like a really small area so yeah. people didn't walk pro like freely yeah but here is it is better yeah i'm still hoping to go see the cemetery to be honest i haven't like ex felt like we've fully experienced like the actual meaning of day of the dead this evening it seems more just like a big fiesta But I mean, it's a fiesta, it's just to celebrate, but I really want to go to the cemetery to yeah. see, like, change our experience of what we had in Hanitio. Yeah. And, like, I, re I think it's going to be different. Yeah. Just headed into the cemetery now. 
this footage is going to be very dark because out of respect we can't turn on the light so it'll be very dark footage but we'll try our best out of respect we didn't vlog in the pantheon but our trip to michoacan was so worth it just to have seen this hundreds of local families sat beside the graves of their loved ones and laughed shared hot meals and paid tribute to the departed the grave would adorn with cempasuchil, candles, and all the favorite food and drinks of the departed. The families will typically sit in the pantheon through the night to spend as much time as possible with the spirits of their loved ones. So Giovanni and I have decided that we're going to try and hitchhike back to either Pazcuaro or Morelia because it's midnight and we feel like we've seen what we came to see so I feel like trying to stay here for another five, six, seven hours is going to be a bit brutal considering how cold it is and how tired we are. But anyways, we had an incredible time experiencing um, experiencing Day of the Dead. It was the first time I've experienced like the authentic celebration. It was pretty mainstream, but what, what I really, really liked about it was seeing the Pantheon here in Sin Sin Sun Sun. Sin Sun Sun. Sin Sun Sun. Seeing the actual families of the people that have passed gathering together with their fires, with their tents, with their blankies, remembering their loved ones, because I feel like that, that is the essence of Day of the Dead. Yeah, we actually had a good time. We didn't expect there was going to be that commercialized and touristy, how we, it is what we felt, and we didn't have that expectation. However, we are actually wondering where would you like us to go for the next Day of the Dead, Dia de Muertos here in Mexico. Please let us know in the comments. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed to our channel and that being said see you in the next one Hasta Hasta luego. Luego. join us in the third and final episode of our day of the dead series where we travel to the tiny town on Pátzcuaro lake where the real life mama coco once lived